What's going on guys? Throws in a buck. It's time to test out the Simpson pressure washer. We're gonna try it out on Pearl. The diamond white tri-coat Yukon XL. Alright, we'll take a close look, see how dirty this thing really is. Give you an idea there on the wheels. You can see the road dirt. I'll be using this super clean all purpose or all wheel cleaner for the wheels. Something Dan Nader showed on his channel. And I'll be using this Rain X high foaming car wash concentrate. Um, yeah, don't have the foam cannon. I might have to find that actually. But this is we're going to use for the car wash. I'm going to attempt to use this multifunction nozzle. I showed this in the previous video when I did the unboxing. Uh, we'll be using the soap setting to distribute the soap to the vehicle and then I'll use either the 40 or 25 degree to blow it off or wash it off. Uh, honestly, this ain't probably a piece of junk. We're going to find out. Well, I'm not. I am not the least bit, even partially, excited to use this thing. I much would have preferred a standard extension with the quick coupler so I could just use my foam cannon or whatnot. I've got another wand, I'll swap it out, but this is what it came with, so this is what we're gonna test it with. So the uh, foam soap distributor works um, to throw some soap. It's not real thick, but I didn't expect that. Now it's hot. So it is functional. Um, do not touch it, it's hot. I'm trying to keep my kids from burning themselves on the pressure washer. That's one reason that I wanted to use an electric one, because they don't get dangerously hot like the gas ones do. Um, but as you know, I've killed six of them. And I'm really tired of having to buy another pressure washer like every few months. Considering they only get used maybe six times before they die. And yeah, I've taken them back and exchanged them. It's just like same thing. So, anyway. I gotta stop talking. It's too hot out here and the soap's drying on the vehicle. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this done. And we'll talk about it when I'm finished.
used the after. It's extremely hard to see out here because the sun is to my back, but the Yukon is clean. It looks really good. Uh, as far as the pressure washer's performance, it surprised me. So I was using that rotary nozzle. Uh, the soap, of course, is weak, uh, as you could imagine, compared to a soap cannon or a foam cannon. Um, but it did put out enough soap for me to get this clean. I would not recommend using it in direct sunlight. This vehicle is white, so it doesn't hold a lot of heat, but it still was drying, of course, on the windows because those are tinted. Um, so that's the only downfall there. As far as the cleaning power, I ran pretty much the 40 degree nozzle the entire time, and I was really shocked with how well it was able to move large particles and sediment off the vehicle. Uh, typically, I have to go to like a 20 degree to get the same performance. And that was out of my 2500 PSI pressure washer. So, performance, excellent. Uh, assembly was easy. The only thing it could use is a longer hose, of course, because this Yukon is massive. You know, it's like, um, yeah, that long. And have to move the machine around too much. Uh, of course, I was going for electric because of the kids, you know, that muffler gets hot and I do not want them getting burned, so I constantly have to watch. No, no, stop, stop, leave it alone, leave it alone. I constantly have to watch, you know, just like there, watch them to make sure that they don't get burned on that muffler because um, hot metal is not forgiven to the skin. It takes it right off. So, out of four wheels, I will give this pressure washer three and a half wheels. If it came with a multi-use nozzle where you could go and simply pop off one connection and pop on another one, for me that's just more beneficial. So I use a foam cannon for washing vehicles, I use a surface cleaner on the driveway, and then I use other various nozzles and attachments for cleaning up several other things. Uh, so that's the only thing that I would definitely have liked to have seen from this is just the more flexible tip basically uh, and to each his own some people probably would prefer that because it's an all-in-one so you don't have to worry about losing the nozzles um, I also use the turbo nozzle so another reason why it didn't get the four wheels so the soap attachment is right there and it's not in a bad location it actually works really well you hook your hose up from your soap dispenser hook it up to this little fitting right there and it just sucks it down and there's just spraying out. So when you're done, in my case, I had to throw the other side of the hose into this soap container. If you don't, you get a puddle of soap on the ground because once that siphoning suction starts, it just continues. So to me, that's a little bit of a, an issue. And it's only for washing cars. Like if you're washing a big deck or something, you need a lot of soap, then that, way, that makes sense. It's a nice additional feature. Um, I probably just won't use it unless I'm maybe cleaning the entire driveway, but I probably won't use it. So that's the only reason that I'm not really a big fan of the multi-use nozzle with this just because it's not for my particular setup. But it's easy enough to swap out that one and then that will take care of one issue which is the usability of the foam cannon and the second issue had the same issue with my other pressure washer. The hose is too short. 20 foot vehicle, 25 foot hose, it just, you gotta move the pressure washer around. Uh, so, easy easy enough to fix. We'll get a longer hose, we'll swap out the nozzle, and then this thing will be golden. Really, really impressed with the performance from the Simpson machine. I wasn't expecting quite that much. I was expecting as good as I had from this guy, right here. So this is what I was using, and this Honda engine is pretty much bulletproof, but the pump went out and a replacement pump was half the cost of a new pressure washer. So it's like, well, I got more pressure. Um, my gallons per minute is a little bit more and it's brand new. What can I say? So anyway, hope you like this review video on the Simpson 3000 PSI 2.4 gallon per minute pressure washer. My name's Erwin. This thrills in a block you've seen Pearl. The Diamond White Tri Coat Yukon XL. Get another bath. The girls helped me out a little bit. I'm sure you saw them pop in there. And as always, you guys, be sure if you hadn't turned that red button gray, go ahead and turn that red button gray. There's more content coming every week, whether it's on the Yukon, the Suburban, 
the Nova, the Camaro, the Chevelle. It's, it's always something new. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the Simpson gas pressure washer. I'll put a link in the description where you can pick it up. I got this particular one at Tractor Supply. You can get them at pretty much any box store. Um, and that was just the one I decided to go with. Oh yeah, if you hadn't checked out the video on how to repair these headlights, if they're leaking and you're getting condensation inside, um, I do have a video on that, so I'll put a link up here at the top of the screen for you. My name is Erwin, this is Rules in a Block. Thank you guys for watching these videos. This video, thanks for all my subscribers. I appreciate you guys leaving a comment, taking the time to let me know if this worked for you, if it was good, if it was bad, if you agree, if you're going to try it out. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.